with a donkey <laughs> with a big bell around his neck because all is fair and let's make a deal. And the reality is this, that, that, that the truth is, uh, my young brothers and sisters, we're, we are exclusively locked into being choice makers. Everybody in the room has to make choices. There are choices for which you do not get the option not to make a choice. Because not to make a choice is a choice. And tonight, I would like to frame from this passage the seven most important choices you get to make, you have to make, in your life. All right. They are important choices. Uh, this week long, we've been trying to talk about the most important of them, and that's where I want to start. And that is the choice about who, whose disciple you will be. Everybody has to choose who's going to school them in life. All right. And the reality is, you can decide not to let Jesus be your teacher. <coughs> That's the truth. The truth is, you can decide that uh, Kanye or Big Pond or anybody else from any other scope of the world can be your principal school teacher in the world of life. You can kick Jesus to the curb, and everything Jesus has to say, uh, you can take that and say, okay, that's optional, but what this person says, uh, that's, that's what the gospel is. The most important choice you and I will make is the choice of who will school us in the world of living. Who's your teacher? When I was growing up, there was a television show called Kung Fu. Some of you may have heard of Kung Fu. Uh, the, the, the star of the show was a guy named David Carradine. I don't know how they made him look like he was Asian. But at any rate, <laughs> David Carradine uh, played the young Kung Fu master, Kwai Chain Kane. And Kwai Chain Kane was there uh, in uh, the Kung Fu school seeking to become a master of Kung Fu. Right. And, and to become a master of Kung Fu, uh, he had several people who were teaching him. They were people who were trying to teach him some of the fine arts of Kung Fu. And, 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 and one of the teachers at one point uh, had to push back on uh, young Kwai Chang Kane because he figured that since he knew how to kick, and since he knew how to punch, and since he knew how to jump, and since he knew how to say, yeah! <laughs> he was ready to go out into the world of Kung Fu combat. And, and his master said, Rasapa. Until you can snatch the pebble from my hand, you are not ready to leave. And his point was this, that whoever you choose to have as your teacher, you need to at least come up to the same skills as your teacher. Come on. Jesus knew this and said it. Luke chapter 6 and verse 40. He says that if the blind lead the blind, they both fall in the ditch. Get this, my young brothers and sisters. I, I would encourage you, because some of you are not going to let Jesus be your teacher. But I would ask you, whatever it is, whoever it is, however it is you are being schooled, check the ditch record on what's teaching you. I don't mean no harm, but you know, athletes have a pretty bad ditch record these days. Yes, sir. And if I were you, I wouldn't let an athlete be my principal school teacher. I like his airness, but you know, his airness... Uh, is paying uh, several hundred million dollars uh, to his ex uh, because his airness, oh, he could handle the ball, uh, but he couldn't handle other aspects of his personality. I'll just put it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he didn't know how to keep his marriage right. Uh, people would say, hey, hey, hello, how you doing? Here's the seven digits. And he would say, oh, thank you. And then get in trouble. <laughs> You, you want to check the ditch record. And I say this as quickly as I can because Jesus doesn't have a ditch record. But everything else that could be your teacher has a ditch record. Wow. Ultimately, uh, everybody who stands in a pulpit, everyone who sits in a choir, everyone who sits on the front row, all of us have some kind of ditch record. Yes, sir. We done crashed and burned. That's my point. Yeah. And you want to check to see that what's schooling you has as close to a zero ditch record as possible. Mm -hmm. Number one. Number two, 
Jesus says, they that, uh, if the blind lead the blind, they both fall in the ditch. He says, uh, but, but when you are fully trained by me, you'll be just like me. That's what Jesus said, Luke chapter 6, verse 39 and 40, when you read it. And Jesus' challenge to you and I is to choose to have him as our school teacher, teaching us about life. All right. The most important choice you will make is to choose a good teacher for life. Now, the rest of us can be good mentors, mm -hmm. but you need a good teacher. Mm -hmm. um, I, was, I was privileged. I told you, Dr. Patricia Jackson uh, was my linguistics professor, and she was a master of linguistics. And when you're talking about your life, my young brothers and sisters, you want to, 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 to get in the school of life with the professor who has a PhD in living. Master liver. And there's only been one master liver. And that was the master himself. I would encourage you tonight. Because you don't get to live but one time. One time. That you go ahead and allow Jesus to school you. He's going to school you on your humanity. He's going to tell you that you are created in the image of God. You have intrinsic dignity and worth. And that you have a purpose. You did not come here by accident. I don't care what they said. I don't care if they claim you was a oops. I don't care if they said, you know, we don't know how you, we don't know what we, I don't know. But, but, but God knows. You're supposed to be here. Because you are crafted by God, gifted by God, sculpted by God with a purpose from God to make a contribution for God on this planet. And so I invite you to let him school you. All right. Number choice, choice number one is who's going to school you. And I wish I had time because there are so many examples of poor school teachers that too many of my young brothers and sisters are allowing themselves right now to be schooled by. We don't have the time. Choice number two. After you decide who's going to school you, the next most important choice you're going to make is how you're going to spend you. There are four principal categories, my young brothers and sisters, where you get to spend you, you have to spend you. It's, it's not an option not to spend you. Number one is your time. Get this. Every minute has how many seconds? 60 seconds. Every hour has how many seconds? Uh-huh. See, you got to go get your math together, don't you? You didn't know you was going to get some math checked out in the church, but that's what happens. It's 3,600 seconds. Every day has how many seconds? 86,400. Yes, 86,400. Now, let's try this one. Let's try this one. If a second was a dollar, every day you'd have $86,400. Are you with me? Yeah. Listen, listen. Every day... You banking. Because you got $86,400. Here's the problem. At the end of the day, you do not get to deposit what you didn't spend for the next day. In other words, you got to spend all $86,400 today. All right. And when they're gone, they're gone. Now, here's the good news. If the Lord gets you up tomorrow, guess what? Right. You got another eighty-six thousand four hundred dollars to go. I'm trying to help you grip this. Now, you cannot make you rich if you spend your eighty-six grand on the the Xbox. You can't. You can't. You can't get dividends on that money that way. You can't get dividends on on that eighty-six grand on the Wii. It's not gonna happen. 